Okay, we're back down to the hood again for round two. Yeah. Okay, I'll see you in there. Yeah, I gotta give Uncle Phil some props. All right, so we've been sitting here for a little while working on a problem that we ran into. The uh, inner bearing on one of these spindles seized up at some point, I guess, and didn't come off with the with the bearings. The bearings Phil got the bearings off, but it all came apart, and so. We're sitting here trying to get this figured out so we've been trying to pull her and heat and everything and phil came up with the old school idea to put a what's that thing called pipe wrench pipe yep. wrench on it and uh lean on it so he's been doing that and he got it broke loose so i'm going to use my last ounce i think in this can of pb blaster and then hopefully we can pull it off and then hopefully the spindle's not too mangled so but we'll see we're just working our way through this is kind of things that happen but the man knew what to do here Thank you, yeah. Phil. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> okay, we ground this thing off finally within an inch of its life. And Phil is moving in for the kill with the puller again. So I'm gonna have to help him here. So you wanna hold it and I'll reach? Where is the wrench? How many tools in this place so far? You ready? <laughs> well, I don't know where the wrench went. Okay, there it is, it's under. Oh, going one in, Phil, sorry. Alright, get close there. Okay, if you just hold up those jaws on there, I'll work this thing here okay. for us. Work those jaws. Well, it'll work better now. We got some. You might just be able to do it with two. Be sure you get there. You go. Yeah, I could tell when Phil was ready for the next assault because. Okay. He'd hold a tool up. He'd either hold this up or he'd hold up the five wrenches. Ready? Yep. Is it moving? Yep. Good. Good. We win. Yep. He's coming. We win. In the end, crap like this just cannot stand up to. You okay? You okay? Yep. Cannot stand up to a man and his machines. Oh yeah, it's feeling easier too. A little bit. But the way I told me, all right? Yep. The way I told Phil, I said this thing will fight the very last centimeter. They always do. Yep. Now, we get this off, we'll have to see what kind of shape the spindle's in after the bearing spun on it. I think I'm gonna have to pee pee. Matter of fact, Phil, you know what I'm going to do? Right. I'm going to leave these pullers for you. Since I just told Phil I bought two sets of these accidentally. Didn't mean to. So I'll just leave these here. And Phil can have them. He just barely tore himself away from the prospect of unloading this truck over here with all the goodies I brought him to come help me with this. <laughs> Well, how bad does it look under there so far? Well, don't don't let me distract you from what your your duties there. Okay, I think we're about there. Let me get going here. Sorry. Yes, I definitely am gonna have to go pee pee. Yeah. Yeah. Just what's that mean? Is that bad or good? No. Okay. You started to say yeah. It's something like. Okay, okay. Don't depress me, buddy. <laughs> okay. You're almost off. Yeah. Oh, I'm off, all right. I'm just functional. <laughs> I'm off, off in the head. No, you're not. I'm, I'm deranged. I have mechanical derangement syndrome. Ah. I suffer from it. I think you do too, actually. <laughs> you know what that is? It's an obsession with things that are in not good condition and but we know they can be made to be. Oh, oh, okay. Get up, yeah, there you go. Well, all right, what have we got? Yeah, I feel like I couldn't wait to get back in here. I put a little grind in it right there. Yeah. But, but yeah. what happened yeah. was. Yeah, there's some. Yeah, it's. What you call it. So I'm gonna have to smooth that. 
and that. Well, the bearing, the thing is, though, oops, yeah, that, watch that. Thought. Well, your yeah. face is right next to that fender, bud. Be careful. The way this works is in concept that the bearing does not turn on this spindle. The only, the only, I mean, it has to, you know, it doesn't right. be stuff missing off of it, but when you lube it, you can see it's already got a big chip right there. Somebody's hit it there yeah. and stuff. So this spindle's got to be replaced at some point. But I think it'll be okay to get me where I need to go because, like I said, the, the main thing, the interface is between the bearings and the races in the bear, in the right. hub. So as long as we can, you know, we'll lube it up real good. Oh. Your bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Careful there. <laughs> yeah. But you know what? We won. Yep, we won. Heck with this thing. Okay, I'm gonna go PP. Okay. And then uh, we'll start putting some wheels on. Okay, have trivia time with Uncle Phil. So hold this up a little bit, let somebody, everybody see that. So this is parts to working on a trailer hub. So Phil hasn't figured out what it is yet. I didn't, wouldn't know either until I read it. Give up yet? Honest, well, I better not give it away. Whoops, that was the grease. Okay, don't go on this. Nope, that has nothing to do with that. Okay. So, let me see here. I thought I had the other one in here. I'm fixing this, about to show you here. Shut up. That's true, it is something. It's either something or nothing. <laughs> All right. Yeah, but that's what, that's right. You know what that's for? Hammer it on. You take a piece of wood and use on that, and that way you don't beat your yeah, bearing caps that. up. How about that? Yeah, that's what I said. How about that? Yeah. All right, we're going to put hubs on, guys. Yep. So this one over here is not... It's definitely not the best it could be, but, oh shit. See, what'd you do? Oh, I just got to pop a sliver or something in there. Yeah. Fudge, ow, 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 ow. You're still in your feet. I got to take that out. See you, Phil. I will. I feel So, Phil claims that my old Mazda, the last one, is sitting abandoned in that junk pile down there behind that place. And we were going to go look and see, but we didn't have enough time. I had to get back home. So. Anyway. Man, I hate to say it, but if you were not concerned about going to hell, I'd suggest you come up here and live for a year and see if it changed your mind. All right. Okay, let's get the heck out of Dodge.
He had one of those straight lidded caps on. What the heck do you expect? Uh oh. <laughs> that was not the cops. <laughs> Thought it was though. I'd be shocked to know how many people have just followed me with this ratty looking trailer on the back here and be going about 55 miles an hour. They just stayed back there and stayed back there and stayed back there. I'm thinking it makes people feel glad to be an American seeing stuff like this. Okay, had to make a fuel stop. Been checking the bearing temperatures several times and everything's running good. I think we're gonna hopefully go the distance on in with this. That guy in that truck there just went in there and got him a big case of beer. Big one. Big old case of beer. Hey, that's one thing I've given thanks for is that I quit the compulsion to drink. I know somebody's tempted to say, sure looks like the Clampets have rolled into town. <laughs> well, as the sun sets in the west and the birds are ready to go to sleep, rolled back into town safe and sound with our cheap car trailer that Phil hooked me up with I guess I got about $400 in this you know that's the nicest thing anybody's ever done for me for all of Phil's faults uh, you know he comes through sometimes he has a good heart and, you know in the heat of argument a couple people in the past have told me that I'm unlikable, but I respectfully disagree. So now I've got some ideas about how to, well, you know, I've helped Phil in the past, but it's not, you know, when you're friends with somebody, when you're truly friends with somebody, it's, it's not something you add up or write down in a book or write down on a piece of paper and keep count of. It's an ongoing thing because you like to, them and you like to help them and you like to make them happier and have a better life so that's the whole thing so there is no end to this so now I'm going to be looking for something to do for Phil to help his life out but we did fine with this I was a little concerned about it you know there's a lot of things could go wrong here the truck could crap out or the trailer could have problems even though we replaced all that but uh, I think we're fine because I stopped several times and checked the temperatures with my temp gun on the hubs and that one we put the new hub on that spindle that's kind of yeah that one and for about the first 25 miles or so it ran it ran about 10 degrees warmer than the rest of them but they never all the rest of them ran about 60 degrees and that one ran about 70 or so and it was just that's not even that's not even near a problem nowhere near it but it was a little bit warmer and it's still just a little warmer but that spindle will have to be replaced it's banged up and we just kind of made it work of course <laughs> now at least i can put the wheels back on my chrysler i'll probably put that trailer back over there someplace put up you know set up on blocks or whatever so i can kind of work on it later on at some point I took the wood off of it. I didn't need that because I'm going to refloor it anyway. And these are my wonderful LED Harbor Freight trailer lights that I made into a lighting system for this thing. It didn't have any. <laughs> so, okay. But it pulls good, man. This thing doesn't... Shoot, it doesn't... Have any problems? Didn't sway. I mean, there's no weight on it, but... You know, it, it seemed to do fine, didn't bounce. And Phil was skeptical that this is an 18 foot. I'm pretty sure it's an 18 foot. It could be a 16, I have no idea, I'll have to measure it. But uh, anyway, whatever it is, I'm glad to have it. 
the hitch and everything worked fine on it no problems locked and everything so i don't know again i don't know what year this trailer is it's got a serial number on it i might try to see if i can find out but in tennessee you don't have to tag these things as long as it's pulled by a vehicle that's registered here other states may be different but and the old chev hung right in there it ripped off about 350 mile round trip for over two 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 different trips so i guess it has what it takes it's a good old truck ran perfectly all right all right guys i've had enough for this weekend i'm going in so uh, don't expect to see anything on this trailer right now because it's just like i said that's just a, a, a later on project there's no rush for that so we'll get into it so yeah all right don't mind my recycles pile over there the doggone recycler closed down around here they had one in huntsville they shut it down and then the one in athens shut down because they said that they can't get any convicts to work at it right now i don't believe that but anyway it's shut down so i have to there's a place up here up up the road up there that you can take it to but i don't like going there because there's a bunch of people right on top of you and they're not wearing masks not doing anything so i'm just kind of holding on to it right now okay well i'm sniffing so that's telling me it's time to shut this off and go in so i'll see you guys thanks for coming along this journey it's kind of nerve-wracking but i was glad to be home with it thanks again to good old uncle phil